this is uh, A level 2019, okay, the latest past paper. And question number 11, B part, is regarding the uh, remainder theorem, right? So, remainder theorem, it says, uh, let C and D be the two non zero real numbers, non zero real numbers, right? Non zero real numbers. And let f of x is something like that. It is given that x minus c is a factor of f of x and that the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus d is c d. Find the values of the c and d, right? So, it's very normal question, right? So, straight, straight away you can do that, okay? Then for these values, we have to find the um, remainder of when f of x is divided by x plus 2. The question is obvious, right? So, now what we have to do? Okay, let's see. So, these are very important. C and D be two non-zero real numbers. So, I'm going to erase this part now. Right? I'm going to do because there is no space. So, f of x is given. Right? Okay? They say x minus c is a factor of f of x. Then what you can do, f of x, that is... And if, if f of x is divided by x minus d, the remainder is c, d, okay, right? So first of all, what I am going to do, x minus c, since x minus c is a factor of f of x, so quickly I'll write x minus c, and there is a phi of x, and there is no remainder, right? Then when x equals c, that is f c equals what is that? Z, this is equal to 0. That is C cube plus 2C squared plus DC, sorry, minus DC plus CD equals 0. Right? So I erase this part also. So later you may say. So then what we have to do? Here CD, DC gone. So straight away, here C cube plus 2C squared equals 0. Take the C squared out. Then c plus 2 equals 0. Now you have to you have to say that is c not equal to 0, non-zero. Otherwise, you can't get the answer. So c since c is not equal to 0, then c equals minus 2 only. Okay? Right? I erase this part also. So in this case, immediately you got uh, the answer for c. So normally this type of question comes under the uh, by doing the simultaneous equations, you have to solve something like that. But this question is very, very easy because straight away you can get C equals minus 2. Got it? Now we go to the next part. Okay, so we select that C equals minus 2, right? So next part, I erase part, this one. Okay, I have written. Okay. Second one, they say... Okay, f of x equivalent to, they say, x, if f of x is divided by x minus c, the remainder is c. So, if x minus d and say phi 1x something like that, remainder is plus c. D. So, same way. So, for x equals d, that is f d equals, you have to put and show that 2 d squared minus d d plus c d equals z d because it's 0. So c d c d gone, this is minus d squared, then this is d cube plus d squared equals 0, d squared as a common equals 0. Then what we have to do, you have to say d not equal to 0 because non zero, c and d are non zero. Because of that, answer is minus 1. So, d equals minus 1. Is it clear? Right. Okay. Copy. Right. Now, this is a simple question. So, now finally they ask, for these values of, right, uh, d and c, you have to find the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2, all things care. So, let's see. So, I am going to rewrite the f of x here. So, f of x equivalent to x cube plus 2x squared minus 
what is d d is minus 1 so plus x right what is c c is minus 2 and d is minus 1 that is going to be plus 2 is it right is it correct plus 2 so f of x is written Now they say you have to divide this x of f of x. If the f of x is divided by x plus 2 all things squared, then what is the remainder? So there are many methods. Okay. So for an example, in this type of questions, x plus 2 whole things squared, normal way, if, a no, if, you, want, if you want to do it the normal way, x plus 2 all things squared, and I say this is 5 of x, that's a different 5 of x, and plus, plus, remainder will be, if it's x squared, ax plus, b4 right if it is x squared then remainder will be ax plus b this is a very normal method how we are going to find this just there are two methods to find this the a and b the method one first you put x equals minus 2 then you differentiate this why you differentiate because all things squared is there if you differentiate you can find it so i'll do on method one so method one method one Okay, so what is the method one? First, put x equals minus 2. If you put x equals minus 2, what will happen? If you put x equals minus 2, what will happen? So it's going to be, so we already said this is x plus, uh, x plus 2 is the factor, right? x minus c is a factor. So x plus uh, c is minus 2, so x plus 2 is a factor. So if you put minus 2, this all becomes 0, right? So then, no need to worry about that, it's going to be 0, because it's already, you know that. Okay, so it's going to be 0, and so you are going to find this is going to be 0, minus 2a plus b. So first equation. Second one, if you differentiate this, by differentiating, okay, by differentiating, uh, respect to x both sides, respect to x both sides, 3x squared plus 4x plus 1, uh, equivalent to you keep this, this is a UV pattern so you keep this x plus 2 all things can and differentiate this by prime x plus 5 of x and you differentiate this 2 into x plus 2 plus a is it clear so now if you substitute uh, uh, x equals minus 2 now if you substitute x equals minus 2 then here you will find 3 minus 2 squared plus 4 into minus 2 plus 1 equals 0 0 why 0 minus 2 x minus 2, x is minus 2, then this is 0, this is 0, only you will find the a, quickly you will find the a, what is a, tell me, this is 4, 12, 13, 13 minus 8, and that is going to be 5, isn't it, so if a is 5, if a is 5, b is going to be 10, b is going to be 10, so remainder is 5, x plus 10, so if this is method 1 normally, so normal students they will do, some of them uh, may go to the uh, differentiation method and do, and the normal way, very obvious method is, I, I'm, going, no, I'm not going to do that one. So that is method 2, I'm going to just show you how to do that. So I erase this part, right, quickly. So I erase this part. Okay, so method 2. So what is the method 2? Equating the coefficients. So in method 2, what you have to do, but normally stud uh, students, they select x plus 2 whole thing squared, x plus 2 whole thing squared, 5 of x. 5 of x. So 5 of x, what is 5 of x? Then they will find the 5 of x. Okay? So normal way of finding the 5 of x is x cube is here. Here x squared is there, the top power, the highest power. Then this is going to be ax plus b form. Right? So they, they will say lambda x plus mu, right? Normally plus ax plus b. Right? Then they will find lambda and mu and then a and b. But I, I say don't put like that. So you are very intelligent, right? You are very intelligent. So if it x squared, here will be x only. The coefficient of x is 1, obvious. You see that. Right, now you put if you want lambda plus ax plus b. Then equating the coefficient, you know how to do it. Equating the coefficient, you can find the lambda and a and b. It's finished. That is method 2. But I don't prefer this method. I prefer method 3. The which is needed to this question. So that is method 3. That is my method. To this question. 
method for this question for this question right so why what is my method for this question see f of x is there since already they say x minus c is a factor then what is c minus 2 then x plus c is a factor so we know that x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 2 equal to you already I, I write x minus c into phi of x that is you know that already and but now you know what is c you found what is c c is minus 2 then if it's minus 2 this become plus 2 right okay now here after that they say here hereafter he says you have to find the remainder when this divided by x plus 2 whole thing squared right then you will remember the 2014 question so it's better to go back to 2014 and return come okay so normally you just mark that 2014 go to 2014 then you have to go to the 2014 and refer what is what happened so in 2014 they say they, okay you are going to express some uh, the express expression uh, in the form of ax plus b but here they didn't because you know you had an experience right so here x plus 2 phi of x then if you want to get x plus 2 whole thing squared then inside the phi of x x plus 2 must be there yes or no inside the phi of x so then easy one what i am going to do right i'm going to repeat this 2x squared plus x plus 2 then x plus 2 i'm going to find i'm going to find phi of x how to find the phi of x how to find the phi of x you divide this by x plus 2 you can find the phi of x i know you can find this is x squared because this is x cube so using the synthetic division you can find easily but synthetic division i think not in the syllabus so you go for the long division and do it long division you know how to do it so it's better to do the long division here right x x cube plus 2x squared plus x plus 2 if you divide by x plus 2 then quickly i think this is going to be x squared x cube plus 2x squared oh god that's going to be x plus 2 then there's going to be plus 1 so it's going to be plus 1 only how nice this question right then that's finished i erase this that's finished so what i'm going to do a small trick the trick is x plus 2 here i'm going to make the x plus 2 here there are so many methods to make x plus 2 someone may think of like this squared or all things squared uh, then for minus 4x minus 4 plus minus 3 something like that they may think but don't do that because you should not have x here right so it's better to do like this but it how x plus 2 x squared i'm going to write x squared as x plus 2 into x minus 2 then 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 what do you get x squared minus 4 x plus 2 into x minus 2 x squared minus 4 then you need plus 1 then plus 5 is it clear then finish next step you multiply this and this then x plus 2 whole thing squared into x minus 2 plus 5x plus 10 this is remainder Okay, so these are the things you need to um, know, right? You need to know. X squared is a log, so you need to have the x plus 2, all things, something like that. So it's better to go for the a minus b, a plus b, 4. Don't go for the a plus b, all things squared, minus 4. That's all. That's it. So I like this question at the end only, because that is super. Understood? We go for the next one.